Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Princess Leia getting censored. Uh, stupidly, on a shirt, uh, Leia, the Hut Slayer, quote yes. unquote, Hut Slayer Leia, has been removed from a Return of the Jedi shirt replaced with Hoth Leia. Which doesn't even make any sense for Return of the Jedi shirt. Which makes absolutely no sense. So we're going to talk about the continued censorship of uh, the, the woman formerly known as Slave Leia mm -hmm. uh, under Disney. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 272,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We do talk a lot about uh, Star Wars and Disney and Disney censorship and Disney stupidity. And this is one of the most egregious examples of stupid censorship that it, I have seen. It doesn't even make sense. I mean, like, okay, because there is an Ewok there. You know, They could have put her in the, the Ewok Village outfit. Yeah. That would have at least made sense. Her speeder bike outfit, yeah. her, you know, whatever. Any of those um, things would have made sense for this film. I mean, it's still like, okay, but at least, I mean, like, especially the, the, the Ewok village outfit, because the Ewok's right there. Would have made complete sense, and I could have let it slide. May, you know, I mean, yeah, because they're trying to get the bikini, because bikinis are bad. Women's bodies are bad. But what is a woman anyway? Yeah. So let's 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 talk about this. I uh, have to give a hat tip to Mr. Milo, who put this article up. Um, he actually got it from Twitter. Mr. Roboto, uh, JFC Disney Lucasfilm, erasing Slave Leia from the famous Return of the Jedi image and using Hoth Leia as a replacement is a new low. It doesn't even make sense to use Hoth Leia. It doesn't make sense. So the, the art on that, it's much shittier than the original. It I mean, looks it, like, yeah, it looks like. Uh, I mean, it's more insulting to the original artist that that, that art is just awful. Um, and actually, uh, the artist gets gets invoked. People thought it was a uh, Drew Struzan. It's not. It's actually a Japanese artist, I guess, did did the Return of the Jedi poster. Yeah, but this isn't as good as the, the poster. No. This art is by far inferior to the original. I mean, look, look how shitty they look. So this is um this is the shirt art that's uh that's I knew the, about that shirt. I knew about that shirt, but I didn't catch the Leia on it. Yeah, so everybody else is right. Everything else is right. This is Empire. This is yep. from the poster. Um this is from A New Hope. I mean, yep. oh my gosh, she's burying her leg and everything. Oh, but she's not holding on to him and looking up at his crotch. We've got uh Bausch over here, but then for whatever reason we have Hoth Leia in Return of the Jedi. And um, it's from this, you know, it's an officially licensed Lucasfilm shirt from, uh, is it Results, I guess, is is the brand. But um, I'm just like, who, well, one, the art is nowhere near as good as the original poster. I mean, no. I keep saying that because it looks like if you bought this poster on Wish. Wish. Is what you got. And then it's also like when you buy put something from China or that's, that's a knockoff and you get like a, a, a Hoth Leia on Return of the Jedi something. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's funny. Um, Drew Struzan uh, actually responded to Sci-Fi sci For Me TV. Uh, nobody's contacted me because it was uh, Kazuhiko Sano who did the art, which um, I was not aware. I thought Struzan just did that. I could be mistaken, but I thought he just did the special edition art. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure he head. did. Once upon a time, I would have known that, but my head's so full of stuff now that I don't remember. Anyway, they're not really <laughs> yeah, that, that, data racer. Yes, yes, thank you, data racer. Exactly what I'm pretty talking much. about. Exactly. She has four different outfits in Return of the Jedi yes. and is still effed up. Yes. Yes. Um, they could have, in fact, uh, we'll, we'll talk about this because here is, um, here are all the Return of the Jedi Leia action figures. Mm -hmm. And she had Bausch. Yes. Uh, she had the uh, speeder bike rebel outfit. Um, she had the uh, Endor, you know, without the without the parka. And then, of course, she had, you know, her, her Ewok village outfit. Right, so any of those could have been a replacement. Any of them. I right. mean, it makes more sense to either have her in a speeder bike combat poncho or the, the you know, the uh, Ewok village outfit because she was with the Ewok on there. They would have actually made sense. Why the flip did you go to Empire Strikes Back to pull out a layer? Because she was more clothed than that one? I don't know. I, really stupid. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, Slave Leia, Hut Slayer Leia, whatever the hell you want to call her. They haven't done an action figure of her since... 2015. And this is uh, because this is about the time that, yeah, here we go, 2015. This is about the time that all the media outlets started bitching at Disney mm. for objectifying women uh, in a movie that they had nothing to do with. Well, you know why? They bought it. There's boobs in this one, and they don't like that. Boobs are bad because, you know, not all women have boobs. Boobs are fine when they're on a man. But boobs are bad on, but on a woman. Right. Yeah. But, you know, what is a woman again? We oh, you're not allowed to ask I that question. I asked it twice. You're not allowed to ask that question. 
Um, you know, again, this is uh, just earlier a lot of this women year. Wear that costume. I've seen men wear that costume. I've seen men wear that costume too. Um, I've seen men wear that costume unironically at conventions. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, Screen Rant just earlier this year. Star Wars redeemed Leia's worst Return of the Jedi moment. Um, she killed uh, Jabba herself. Hence the Hut Slayer. So anyway. But they was um, mad because she was in a bikini when she did it. Yeah. So they, they've been uh, trying to erase this version of Leia. We, we've talked about it before. Um, I mean, it's really, really obvious now. But again, just the sheer stupidity of throwing a Hoth Leia on the Return of the Jedi yeah. poster art when they could have, they had at least two or three other designs they could have picked from. That's what doesn't make sense. I mean, I get, okay, people being, oh, you know, oh, they don't like the outfit, even though she's mostly covered from the waist down. They don't like the outfit. You know, when I was younger, I used to think the outfit was kind of trashy, too. I was like, well, I don't understand why they put her in that. That doesn't make sense. But then you saw the other dancer girl, so it makes sense. The point was they, they were trying to humiliate her by putting her in the outfit. That was the point. Um, but I think that replacing her with a Hoth with a Hoth version of the character is just absolutely stupid. So I think I think what could potentially be going on now this could just be somebody at the shirt company that's just dumb. But I think Disney probably gave them a mandate, just like they did with Lego with the Slave One, to be like, you're not allowed to use Slave Leia in anything. I think you're right on both counts. I think what they said was they gave that mandate, and, and then to fix it, either to be a smartass, or just because they told them to replace her with, with a different version of Leia, they just slapped that one in there. So I think you're right about both. But they might have done it just to be a smartass to see what... It could have even been like something you would have done. I don't think they pay attention. I think they're telling me these stupid mandates, but they don't actually know what the hell they're talking about. They're not actually fans themselves. So they changed it to see if it would get caught. And it didn't get caught. And it didn't get caught. And it went to production. Right. That, now I look like idiots. That, That's something you would have done. Yeah, it is something I would have done. You and did it, it before. Um, and dealing with Disney, it's amazing the stuff that they will let slide and they will not let slide because everything is done by committee. And you're right. They probably said, hey, you can't use use another version of Leia. You can't use uh, Slave Leia. And then they were like, fine, we'll just throw Hoth. That Hoth or, Leia. like, I'm not wrong when I say it's a Wish.com version and they send it someplace, you know, else to have it done on the cheap. And they just threw another version, looked up Leia on the internet and then I, threw it in there because they didn't care. I am really surprised they did not put General Leia in there or Little Girl Leia from Obi-Wan. Just throw her there in there. Should, doesn't, yeah. Nothing matters. Nothing matters anymore. None of this matters. None of it's canon. Nothing that Disney has done with Star Wars is canon. I refuse to believe it. It's all bullshit. But yeah, so this is what happens when family-friendly Disney buys a bunch of movies that they had no hand in creating whatsoever. And then, uh, you know, they, they head on, slam into current year politics, and they get called out for movies, a movie that came out like 30 years before they bought Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's crazy. And there were all kinds of, I remember, like, 2015, all kinds of articles. Oh, I do know. remember, too. And the thing is, like I said, they could have just they could have just switched her out with a different costume from uh, Return of the Jedi that made sense. Yeah. And I don't think people would have cared. They'd have been like, you know, I mean, there were people that would have cared. But I think a lot of people would have been like, okay, I get it. But it's still Leia from that film. It's not even the right version of the character. Yeah, uh, just ridiculous. But, you know, Carrie Fisher, I mean, she said before she didn't really care for the outfit because she fell out of it. But Yeah, she said um, she, was, she was doing that thing on, was it Sci-Fi Channel? Yeah. And it was like she was talking, she would present the film and then talk, give some anecdotal stories. Yeah. And I think it was on that or one of the articles I read that she kept falling out of it. And they'll be like, cut, Carrie's tits fell out again. Yeah. Now, okay, so the point of this, though, was that uh, Jabba the Hutt was going to humiliate her and she was going to get her revenge. Mm -hmm. um, and she does. And she does. She kicks his ass. But the um, the thing is, is even back in the day, to be fair, I mean, they haven't had an action figure of of uh, Slave Leia in years, but they didn't do it on Kenner's watch either. No. Because it would be kind of an awkward conversation to, like, take your kid to the toy store and be like, hey, can I have this half-naked right. girl action figure? Of course, she probably was sold very, very well. But I'm it wasn't, sure she it wasn't until the 90s that they, they finally that brought true. one out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's been 2015. As far as I can tell... I am not a Star Wars collector anymore, but as far as I can tell, it's been seven years since they've released any version of, and here they call her Jabba's Ranker, Ranker Pit exclusive. They don't even call her Slave Leia. Well, like the last time I bought any figures that were Star Wars that I actually cared about were like here. The like 90s, the 90s. Yeah. I mean, the, well, probably like, yeah, not even that one. It was like from, yeah, probably 97, 98. 2000-ish, and then the old classics, obviously. There were so many 
slave Leia's. Uh, well, they called her Jabba's prisoner Leia, but there were so many of those figures I remember because everybody was like, oh my God, slave Leia. And I remember Grand Moff Tarkin and some of the other characters they never had figures of that, uh, you know, Kenner never made. It was so weird. They made like every damn background they alien, did. but like Grand Moff Tarkin doesn't get a figure. So here's my question. Is this their way of saying that we should shame any woman who feels empowered by wearing that costume? Yeah, tits are bad. I mean, should they be shamed for their um, agency and what they, they choose to wear? I thought you weren't allowed to tell anybody they couldn't wear something like that. Yeah, um, if she wants if she wants to dress like that, you know, whatever. But, uh, but yeah, so somehow Hoth was in Return of the Jedi. She would be sweating buckets wearing that on Tatooine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so there we go. There's another example of, of most likely Disney's stupid, uneven, stupid censorship. Mm -hmm. Or the fact that they, you know, someone did it on purpose and it, didn't, and it got through, or they, the shows they don't know what the hell they're talking about, or you get what you pay for. It could be any of those three things. All right. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.